I'm going to take a few minutes and I just want to share a story with you folks. Um, some of you know the story, some of you have experienced this. A number of people in the audience who are, uh, have been quite close to, uh, to New Dawn over the years would, would know the story, but uh, I'm going to share it with, uh, with you folks anyway, because I think it's, uh, I think it's very relevant. I met Rankin uh, about 15 years ago, but I really got to know Rankin, um, I guess, over the, the past decade or the first decade of, uh, of, of his current century. And I've been involved with New Dawn. Uh, I've been on the board. I was on the board for seven years. I served on the executive for, I think, about four years or five years. And I was also the chair of the board for, I believe, three years. And the luxury that that provided for me um, was the ability to spend lots of time with Rankin. I can think over that 10 years, I was probably in the New Dawn boardroom hundreds of times. Um, many of those times, it was just in conversation with Rankin alone. Many of those times, it was with the board, it was with the executive. And also, it was at times, it was with folks from the community outside of New Dawn. And on many occasions, Rankin would come into the room and he would have a conversation. And often he would say, there are so many people doing so many great things in this community, but we don't know of them. What can we do to bring them here and get them to tell their story to us? And then what can we do? We need to ask them the question, how can we help how can we be of service? And I think that's really profound. And when I look at New Dawn, especially over the more recent years, and I look at some of the things that have evolved, and I think really from that question, or those questions. First of all, I, I, I think of the ideas uh, program, the ideas powered by passion. That's exactly an answer to that question. It was about finding those folks who were doing special things in this community. It was giving them a voice. And then it was creating the ability to go ask them that question. How can we help? How can we be of service? If I look at the Shimmy program, the Shimmy program was in response to a, a very important need in our community and helping those folks with their, who are recovering from mental illness. It was a phenomenal partnership, which New Dawn was part of. It all came from asking that question. And finally, I think of uh, a program that I was quite involved with, which had to do with raising investment money for this community, creating an investment fund, keeping money in this community from local investors, earning profits for those investors, and growing businesses in our community. And all of those things, all of those uh, projects, they all evolved from that question or those questions. And in thinking about what I wanted to say here today, uh, last night, there was a revelation, because I came to the conclusion, Rankin hasn't just been asking this question over the last five years. I will go back to 15 years ago when I met Rankin. I came to Rankin, I went into his office, and Aura was there, and I was with a few other folks, and we had an idea. And somebody had told me, and I don't remember who it was, you should go talk to Nudon. And I had never met anyone in Nudon up to this point. But I was welcome there and we had a conversation. And although I don't think I really recall the actual question being asked, I know that was the question that was asked of us. When we talked about the idea, we were asked, how can we help? How can we be a benefit to you? And they really were. In fact, in those early days, New Dawn actually became a partner with me in one of my early ventures. And then I certainly know a couple years later when myself and my current business partner uh, involved with Protocase um, we had this idea, we knew it was a good idea, um, but we really needed some help in getting this business off the ground. Again, went to Rankin and talked to Rankin, and Rankin said, how can we help? How can we be of assistance to you? And at the time, it wasn't a question of money, I mean, we needed a fair amount of money, and this was well beyond what New Dawn was going to do. Um, but what happened was, folks at New Dawn said, we have friends. We have friends in this community that we can put around the table for you, and you can express your ideas to them. That was huge for us. It was absolutely huge. And it was the beginnings of what created Protocase, which today uh, is 99, more than 99% owned 
by people of this people of this community. It employs over 75 people who live in this community. It brings in revenue from all over the world, outside of this community, into this community, and over the last 10 years has pumped millions of dollars into this community. I thank Rankin for having been a big part of making that happen. And on a final note, I, I would suggest to you that that question, how can we help or how can we be of service, that's not the question of somebody who's trying to expand or promote a political career. It's not the question of somebody who has self-serving interests. It is the question of a person who cares deeply about his community. And I do hope for that reason that Rank McSween becomes our next mayor.